I think in order for, for me to try to teach somebody this trade, I think they have to be interested in history. What I try to do is give them some information and teach them about 18th century, not only 18th century life, but a lot of the 18th century crafts that was performed here in Lancaster County. One of the things that I just have a good time with is when people come in my shop and call me a cobbler. I am not a cobbler, I'm a shoemaker. A cobbler was a, a gentleman who at sometimes would be itinerant and he would travel from village to village and basically what he did was repaired shoes. He didn't make shoes. Cord Wainer was another name for shoemaker, especially in England. Uh, the word cord wainer came from taking the cord, which is this thread we're working on, and instead of using needles like I'm using here, what I'm actually what they would actually use is use a boar bristle, and they would wind the cord around the boar bristle so it didn't come off, and they would sew it. And they call that that's a loose description of how they would get cord wainers, but it was the same trade, same craft. Uh, the most important thing if I'm making a pair of shoes is to get the shoes measured properly for your foot. I would measure a customer's foot up to maybe 10 measurements on each foot to make sure that I have enough information to make a shoe. Because if they're not measured properly, you're not going to come back to me to order another pair of shoes, and therefore, I'm not going to be in business very long. The biggest problem that you, you must learn is you must learn how to do good stitching. That's, that's the main thing. And if you can't do good stitching, then maybe you shouldn't be working in the trade.